Hello, I wanted to make a video tonight about how you're going to go and see what kids we placed in the Dibble, from the Dibbles, the kindergarten assessments, what kids we placed in short classes, and then have you go in and um, update it before close of business on Friday. So that gives you all day Thursday and all day Friday. And it's pretty important. Um, we need to get these people came out to their shore ups. Um, ABC shore up, I've just used the kids that are below in the ABC kindergarten assessment. And I got them from the kindergarten document that is on the Google Docs. So if you haven't put your kids in the Google Doc for kindergarten assessment yet, you're going to want to, I'll put this entire thing on the Google Doc and you're going to need to go in and update this because I pulled scores today and um, things were kind of due last Friday on October 1st but I know things are crazy but I pulled scores today and ha got this organized today so if you haven't entered your scores in Dibbles or the kindergarten assessment doc you're going to need to come put it all back in here um, so if your kids were way below in ABC's go put them in the ABC shore up these are just the descriptions. The kids that were way below in phonemic awareness, they're going to receive some phonemic awareness activities and go to phonemic awareness shore up. And we used what was below in the phonemic awareness one from the kindergarten document. So again, um, go in and make sure those kids are updated on this new sheet before Friday. And then the phonics one, this is where we have to use a little bit of teacher judgment along with dibbles. Summer's going to do a phonics shore up that has just like phonics, phonics, phonics. And you know, how do you know? Typically, the first graders who are at risk, we're going to invite all of them. Um, and we have other breakdowns, and I already put those all on there. But for second graders, there's a lot of second graders that I think. Um, we all we thought as a literacy team need the phonics so right now they may be they may not be in the right place because I just went and pulled second grade ones and we'll get to that in a minute but but some of your second graders you're gonna probably want to put in this phonics one and then the last shore up class we have for younger kids is Emily's fluency reading shore up and how do you know these guys? They're the low readers, they're the at-risk readers, and at-risk in comprehension in the dibbles. Okay, so all these tabs just have the basic what I pulled from the scores. Phonics shore up. I just found the kids that were who needed intensive intervention and strategic intervention, the low, low lows on our dibbles. Okay. And, whoopsie, <laughs> you notice the di teacher doesn't show up on the Dibbles report. So this is also going to be a good thing for us to make sure you're, you're getting in and doing this because these kids need a teacher by them so we know who their teacher is. So go in and fill out what kid you are. And maybe you see like a kid, oh, I know Ivory or I know Samuel yeah they scored low but it was because they were nervous you know they don't need this intervention so let's just let's write out to this side do not invite this one do not invite we know their mom's gonna withdraw if she gets invited to shore up something like that put teacher notes okay that's if you need to make a teacher note like do not invite because these are the ones just pulled off data who would qualify. They're, they either need some strategic intervention or some intensive. They were at risk in something. Um, some of these though you might think, man, this kid you know, couldn't do anything. Like, I don't even think he would even benefit from a phonics shore up. Maybe we need to throw him in the phonemic awareness one. He really can't do his sounds. But for the most part the first graders should probably stick where they're at because the first grade phonics that summer will do will cover lots of that. Now the second grade one, this tab on the bottom, 
I just pulled the kids that needed intensive intervention in the second grade based on nonsense words when we did the sounds, oral reading fluency, um, and their accuracy and their retail fluency. Okay. So, but I know right now, as as I was doing this, my little A noble, he was he was deficient in all of these things. He's very low. Um, I know he's in sped, and I know that he would not get anything out of this group. It'd be way too hard for him. So I'm going to go right now, and I'm just going to cut him out of this one. Control X, and I'm going to put him in phonics shore up. Control V, and I'll just write new kids, or let's write please add. Okay, so we're going to add Austin Noble to this too. And let's let's just make a note, tell me their grade so I remember that. Because um, I know he doesn't need fluency in reading, I know he needs phonics. Um, so maybe lots of these kids that you can look at that you know, your zeros that couldn't read anything, you, they may more need the phonics stuff than reading groups because Emily d is going to do lots of just reading, like here's the descriptions again. She does reading strategies, theaters, comprehension, things like that. Um, if they can't even read yet though and they just need the phonics, you know, and, and practice with word work and making words, um, here's the descriptions of that making words, tricky vowel combinations, sight words, then they should probably come to Summer's Phonics one. Both the first graders and the second graders are going to get five books every week, came out, so they'll have something to read too. Um, okay, so you, you're going to just go into this, it's going to be called K2 Literacy Shore Up Classes Excel Document. You're going to check out ABC Shore Up, make sure you need don't need to add anybody from their low, low, zero to six score on ABCs. Make sure you don't need to add any funny awareness kid. Make sure you don't need to add or take away or, or tell us some teacher notes about these kids we pulled just from Dibbles. And the same with the fluency. Um, there was a few teachers that, there was about three pages of students that had no scores on Dibbles. So that I, I'm assuming there's about 20 kids that need to just still be entered. Um, so please go in and, and get them entered in. I'm not going to pull it again from the Dibbles website. I want you just to add it in right here to this K2 Literacy Shore Up class document. Thanks.